Uh, and comic books weren't good for my look. So, you know, you put the comic books aside, <laughs> You got to keep right? up appearances. <laughs> exactly. So, so then you'd pick them back up again in college and then put them back down to pick them up. Anyway, so uh, it was after like the, the Marvel movies really started coming out and I was just totally into those. I'm like, man, uh, I wonder if I have any comics still in my collection that are worth anything because I was just been lugging them around for the past, you know, however many years. And you know, like any good collector, I had a pretty good idea what I had, but there's always comics you're going to have in your collection. And, and that's really when I discovered like around 2012 or so, like right around when Guardians of the Galaxy, the movie was getting ready to come out. I, I had a few of those issues that I bought back in 2008. Um, and I just went to like, I went to check on eBay, just see what some of these might be selling for. I'm like, holy crap. Like these movies are affecting the market prices for these comics. And so that made me start to think, I'm like, well, geez. And, and of course, like a genius, this is, you know, genius boy thinking here. I'm like, if you just know what movies are coming out and you can have the keys, the key issues related to those movies where the characters that are going to be in them and you just, you know, get them ahead of time so you can get them cheaper, wait for the market to spike, uh, you know, a year or two down the road, then you can sell them and then you can make money and you can just keep on rolling the snowball down that hill. Oh my God, you could make a lot of money that way. So that was like my kind of initial thought of wanting to get into that thing because I took those couple issues of Guardians of the Galaxy that I had that I paid $4 for at the comic shop back in 2008. And I sold them, you know, for like, you know, 10, 10 times as much as what I paid. So it's like that kind of like income it's like, oh, I just need a lot of that. I just need to replicate that over and over and over and over again. It's right? a formula. Exactly. That sounds easy. <laughs> uh, and that's when I realized that that isn't as easy as it sounds and that I wasn't the only quote unquote genius who thought of that. There was actually a million geniuses <laughs> <laughs> who were already doing that long before I ever got into uh, thinking about that. But it did, you know, it did kind of set me on past. Like, well, no, comic books, that, that was a legitimate dream. That is something I want to do. That is something I'm passionate about. I still had, you know, 15 long boxes of comics uh, that I've been lugging around with me uh, forever. Uh, I still had comics that I bought from when I was like, you know, eight or nine years old. Um, mm -hmm. So I have these things that I want to do it. So that's when I'm like, you know what? I want to turn it into a legit business. I want it to be more than a side hustle. Uh, but I also have to set some rules around that because I'm not, I, I've seen, I'm sure you have too, uh, or maybe you haven't, I'm older than you. I forget that sometimes. Uh, I've seen, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen too many people that I know be like, I am going to start this business. They, pro they proclaim boldly mm -hmm. and they take out a loan, they mortgage their house, they do whatever. And then two yeah. years later, uh, it, it didn't work out. Mm, you know, yeah. And, once again, having a family and four kids and people who rely on me to, uh, you know, provide a, a living for our family, you know, I couldn't do that. Uh, right. So it's like nights, evenings, and weekends. And so, you know, my rules were pretty simple. Family comes first, day mm -hmm. job comes second. Uh, don't go into debt to run this venture. You know, don't yes. take out loans, don't max out credit cards mm -hmm. uh, uh, and always be true to the business. So that's really what I started to do. I started to sell off like these comics that I had uh, in order to start bootstrapping my, myself. I didn't want to just be like an eBay seller. I didn't just want to be a guy hustling on Facebook groups and Instagram. Although I do those things, I didn't want mm -hmm. that to be my, but I wanted to have a website. I needed to have a foundation and I wanted to build a brand uh, of the certified comic shop. Uh, so people understood that this is a high touch, high quality, uh, reputable online shop that they can go to. And that was my focus was to sell graded comics only. I wasn't going to deal in new comics. I wasn't going to deal in back issues. 